friends, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a card using this Woodland Buddy stamp set from the Not Too Shabby Shop. And I thought I would make a masculine card today using this set. I love this little feather that it comes in this set and I thought it would be perfect to do my probably go-to and favorite technique of card making, which is emboss resist. So I'm going to take this feather stamp here, I'm going to put it to my acrylic block, I'm going to prep my cardstock, which is plain white cardstock, and going to prep this with my anti-static powder tool here, my little powder bag. Next, I'm going to stamp this with some Versamark ink. This is a really sticky ink for great for embossing. And I am just going to kind of essentially make my own pattern paper here, background. And I, since I've never stamped with this stamp before, I was just kind of stamping it down once onto some scrap paper there. I'm going to kind of zoom you in here just a little bit, just to kind of show you a closer look as to what I'm doing. Now I'm going to stamp this a couple of times and then later add my black embossing powder. And I did this a couple of times and then I decided to, I thought I could kind of, kind of see it in a light, but I actually couldn't. So I stamped this down about three or four times and then I quickly added my embossing powder. And then I went ahead and heat set that with my heat tool off camera. Next, we're going to add the color to our background. And I've chosen three colors of Distress Oxide inks. First up, we're going to use the Squeeze Lemonade color. This is a wonderful bright yellow. And I absolutely love the formulation of these Oxide inks. I've said that in many videos. But I really do love the Squeeze Lemonade color. It's absolutely fantastic and you can do this really light or really heavy handed too and it gives great results either way. Next color I'm going to use is the Twisted Citron color and really get that inky really well on my sponge applicator tool here. And then once I get those two colors blended together I'm going to use the Blueprint Sketch which is one of my favorite colors of Distress Ink altogether, whether it be in the regular Distress Inks or the Oxide Inks. It's just a beautiful, vibrant blue, and it's got a little bit of a purple, purple tinge to it too. So now I'm going to add that blue color to the very bottom edge, and I really do think that these colors lends itself to create a really great masculine card. I don't have a whole lot of masculine cards, nor do I give them out that often, but every great once in a while, uh, a you know sometimes an occasion comes up to where I need one so uh, that's why I'm going to call I thought this card design would work really well for today so I could have it on hand and I love like I mentioned in the beginning of the video I really do love this feather and of course since we are inking over the embossed areas of the feather it resists that ink but of course you can't work with Distress Oxides or Distress Inks without using water because that's what they're known for. So I love that splattered look of the water. So I just went ahead and then spritzed some down onto my background here and then added um, or just mopped up um, some with my rag there and it kind of gave it a little bit of a distressed uh, look to it. I love that. This is one of my favorites uh, techniques to do like I mentioned. And I thought it would give a nice contrast to add it to a black card base. I did go ahead and cut this off camera with a postage edge rectangle die, as well as the bottom right corner there. I added uh, a die cut circle too, just to add a little bit of interest to the card design. And then I heat embossed the Hello Sentiment that comes in the same stamp set. And I, I heat embossed that with some white embossing powder. Now I'm going to do is just add some foam adhesive to the back of this panel and be really generous with my adhesive here because I don't want this to kind of warp or anything if I put it through the mail. Just going to add that to my card base and then make sure that I get that good crease down onto my card and on the top of the edge of the card there. And that completes our card for today. Really simple, really fast. I really, really do love this technique. Thank you all so much for watching my channel. I really do appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.